Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, August 11th, 2021 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and I'm recording from Stockheim, Germany. Of course, it's Reboot Wednesday and with that, uh, Microsoft's Patch Tuesday is at the top of the news. So let's uh, quickly summarize uh, what we got here. We got a total of 51 vulnerabilities uh, being addressed here. Seven of them are critical. Two were previously disclosed and one is already being exploited according to Microsoft. Well, first, what didn't get patched? Uh, Microsoft Exchange did not receive an other patch this month. Yesterday, I suggested it may happen. Well, hasn't happened yet. Among the previously disclosed already being exploited vulnerabilities, we first have the Windows Update Medic service. This is a service that uh, maintains essentially the update process, making sure it's working correctly. Secondly, we do have, yes, yet another patch for the print nightmare set of vulnerabilities. Now, the one issue that sort of remained unpatched when it comes to print nightmare was a point to print. Point to print allowed uh, regular users to install printer drivers on a print server. Well, that's no longer possible after you're installing uh, this patch. So this patch may break some functionality. Secondly, we uh, do have a fix for the vulnerability that affects uh, the uh, petty bottom exploit that we talked about a couple weeks ago, I think uh, that was released. In particular, it does fix the issue where an unauthenticated user could trick your server into sending an authentication request, which then can lead uh, to uh, these uh, relay attacks. And then also noteworthy is the highest rated vulnerability this month. It's rated with a CVSS score of 9.9 and can be triggered by a simple IPv6 echo request from a Hyper-V guest to a Hyper-V host. And yes, leads to remote code execution. Will be interesting to see the details about uh, this particular vulnerability. And again, only Hyper V appears to be affected here. And Adobe today released patches for Adobe Connect and Magento. Magento, of course, very well liked by attackers. Uh, this uh, particular update does patch a number of different vulnerabilities. Some may lead to remote code execution. There are also a number of security feature bypass vulnerabilities that are being addressed with this update. Based on history, I think you should really patch Magento quickly. And in a blog post, Adrian Tyron of Fort Bridge released a number of details regarding recently patched vulnerabilities in cPanel and WHM. cPanel very widely used in shared hosting environments, and I see a lot of cPanel uh, operated uh, servers uh, being compromised, often not necessarily via cPanel, maybe sometimes via weak passwords in cPanel, but certainly a big target given all the websites out there that are operated uh, with uh, cPanel. The problem here is a number of different vulnerabilities, uh, cross-site request forgery. There is also an XML external entity vulnerability. Most interesting, probably a cross-site scripting vulnerability that in this particular case was not patched by cPanel because they considered uh, this particular issue a feature, not a vulnerability. And to be clear about this, uh, this vulnerability only affects certain configurations, not the default configurations and could lead to privilege escalation. So if you're running cPanel, make sure you're up to date and uh, maybe check that blog post to see if you're affected by this particular cross-site scripting issue. Yesterday I mentioned how quickly Firefox is approaching version 100. Well, uh, version 91 was now released with, uh, of course, the usual bugs and security uh, fixes. It also includes a couple new sort of security related features. First of all, it now uses HTTPS first uh, if you are in private browsing mode. So in this case, if you're just typing in a host name, it will 
first connect via HTTPS and only if that connection fails, will it fall back to HTTP. Secondly, it's now a little bit more stringent about how it clears cookies. Again, trying to prevent some privacy leaks. Well, and that's it for today. So thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.